Hello dear students. Welcome to the second part of this chapter 4. In my last video we discussed about singular and plural nouns. So today we will discuss the remaining two topics. They are countable and uncountable nouns. So let's start. Countable noun. A countable noun is a noun that can be counted by using numbers. They have both singular and plural forms. For example, children, as you can see the group of words like one book, two books, one flower, three flowers. So, we can count these nouns in singular and plural forms. Such nouns are called countable nouns. Uncountable nouns Anything that cannot be counted is an uncountable noun. They do not have a plural form. Children, think, can we count milk, water and sugar? No, we cannot count them. Therefore, they are known as uncountable nouns. With this, we come to an end of this chapter. So, here are some exercises you can do in your home. Homework. Question number one. State whether the highlighted words are countable nouns C or uncountable nouns U C. Number one. Lucky bought five bottles of juice. Number two. All the questions were very easy. Number three. There was too much oil in the dish. Number four. I would like some orange juice. Please. Five. Many students buy books from that shop. 6. I would like some butter on my toast. Please. 7. The bread we ate for dinner was very tasty. 8. There are some policemen standing outside the gate. One has been done for you. So, you have to see whether the highlighted words are countable or uncountable nouns. Next. Question number 2. Complete the sentences with the plural form of the underlined nouns. Number 1. This shelf is full. Number 2. The child has a new toothbrush. The dash have new dash. 3. My tooth is stronger than yours. My dash are stronger than yours. Number 4. The ship is grazing in the forest. The dash are grazing in the forest. 5. I have a box of pencils and an eraser. I have two dash of pencils and a few dash. 6. You need a tomato and a potato to make this dish. You need dash and dash to make this dish. One has been done for you. Number 1. This shelf is full. These shelves are full. Here you have changed singular form to plural form. Last one, question number 3. Fill in the blanks with the plural form of the nouns given in brackets. Number 1. My dash are larger than his foot. Number 2. Mother is feeding the dash calf. Number 3. We must buy dash from the market tomato. Number 4. The dash look beautiful running in the fields. Pony. Number 5. Sheena's dash helped her when she fell down. Friend. So, that's all for this chapter. Hope you understood. Thank you.